How you doing, brother? Good to see you. How you doing? Good to see you. Go grab your stuff for me up here and put it on the table in front of us. This guy here is from the what part of Michigan area? Elmont, Michigan, southeast. Elmont, Michigan, which is I don't know where that's at yet. So let's talk about where is Elmont, Michigan at? Elmont, Michigan is about 40 miles northeast of Detroit. So you're close to Detroit. Yeah. Where guns may not be as friendly to have around the city, correct? Uh, Michigan in general is not a very gun friendly state. Right. Um, we have to push a lot to get matches, right. get things going. Um, and for people watching real quick, what's your full name and what company you work for? Uh, I'm Mike Cranick. I'm the owner of Cranial Custom Cerakote. Yep. Does some great stuff because you. what you're doing in an area to educate people around your area is, you know, people always think of this black, dangerous guns. They don't know. They're not educated. Yes. You know, we hear about it all the time on the media where they're just always just trying to break it down. Black guns, you know, be it an a, well, a AR assault rifle. Don't stand for that. Stand for, you know, I'm a, I'm a, you know yep. so it doesn't stand for assault rifle. But that's another education part. That's a whole other podcast. But anyway, <laughs> you're in a situation where you do some beautiful things to change what guns look like. Because we had a Ruger Mark for here earlier. We were showing with Tanner Cross and it was black and um, red with her accents. But you... You have done some coloring here. That may, This is your competition gun as well, right? Yes. So yep. tell us about what all you've done here. Uh, basically, what that is, is it's a three-color mix of blue, silver, and um, a silver chrome. Right. Uh, we custom made. That's actually the Ruger Mark IV. Um, I'm sorry, Optics Ready. Okay. Well, the Optics Ready version is for a micro dot. And I, well, I'm half flying, so I put a big optic on it. Yep, Hollison so, makes a great larger optic. This plate here, we made that. That looks like that's 3D printed. Yep. So you actually make 3D plates yep. for optic mounts as well, then, right? Yep. Neat. So if, you know, plates and being a 3D printer, tell about, you know, that's what really, really get you, got you started before. Was it painting first or the 3D plate? Uh, it was honestly the 3D stuff. Okay. Started doing that, and what got me into the coating was my daughter built her first AR. Okay. Um, a local company quoted me for just two colors, no patterns, right around seven hundred dollars. Okay. And I was like, Nah, I'm gonna figure out how to do this. Okay. So, what did you do <laughs> before? tinkering with guns to, to give you the background to paint are you a painter by trade uh no actually by trade i do hvac oh really yes so you're keeping people in michigan hot when it's cold yeah which is like 90 percent of the year not really but just that's me being funny up north and also <laughs> keeping people cool when it gets hot two months out of you yep <laughs> yeah it was it was basically a principal thing so right. i went out spent a whole lot of money trying to you know get all the stuff and I bought a couple high points to practice on. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Started doing my guns, personal you know, buddies' guns, stuff like that. And right. Then, uh, I stepped down out of USPSA when my daughter wanted to get involved in the shooting. Right. And we got into rimfire. And I noticed all the flashy guns, and I was like, "Okay, I see, I see an edge for this year." Yep. And uh, that's one thing about the shooting sports, everybody. You don't just come out. You you can you can you oh, can yeah. bring you can bring any gun out who you want to, but you're gonna meet some great people. That will not make your gun look boring anymore. It will, yeah, it, it will be yours. And if you've ever you, seen the back of the van, what I've done, he's actually done some stuff back there as well. There's a lot of stuff that we've worked with a lot of great people to get some nice colors put yeah, on some guns. It's, so. it's a lot of fun, too. I enjoy it. It's good stress release. Right. Um, so 3D printing, what did you start off doing? Because I see something you've got here. Um, this is like, you know. We get our base pads. This a base pad. So. There's a lot of great people out there, like Kirk Grimes and, and, and Creekside Customs, that do a lot of coloring of base pads. But this is actually a 3D. Yep. 3D you you designed this pad. yourself. Yeah. Wow. And you got them in all different colors. Even got your logo on there. Yep. That's so cool. Can you do custom stuff for theirs also? Oh, if yeah. I wanted to put Hunter's HD Gold on there, I could? Yep. Sweet. And uh, we started doing reverse negative photo frames was actually the first thing we did. It looks like. Reverse what? Reverse negative photo frames. I don't even know what that is. Do, uh, I, do I know what that is? Basically, when you look at it, okay. it looks like absolutely nothing. It looks like a white sheet. Okay. But then when you put light behind it, you can take any photo. Like, I could take a photo of me and you. Right. Reverse negative it, print it, put a light behind it. Like, we do them night lights, like a yeah. lot of people that lose animals. So, I can have like a that. night light in the hallway of myself. And it will look like a photo of you when it's lit up. See... 
this is why I do what I do going live. I don't know half this stuff is out there by people that are doing. What gave you that idea? You know, I, I saw people tinkering around with it, and it, that was really confusing to figure out. Yeah. But uh, I did one. Well, see, if I'm, on a, if I'm on my Mac, I could just hit reverse, and it reverses. It seems yeah, pretty I, simple. I did, uh, I did one for actually a buddy who his mom passed away. Right. So I did a photo of them, and it took forever. But I'm like, as this thing's printing, I'm like, what am I making here? You right, know, because right. it, it's coming up like, it's just like ridges. Like, Me? I don't know if you ever seen the Star Wars thing with the carbonite. I have. Or not Star Wars. But I know. Uh, uh, Han Solo and yeah, carbonite. the carbonite. Yeah, that's basically right? yeah. what it looks like until you put light behind it. Well, I, I, and then all of a sudden it transforms into a glowing photo. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah. You still do that today? Yeah. Yeah, so we do. You can do that for people as well. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a second. You've made this other AR right here. What is this you got going on? Uh, this is my daughter's Titman. So this is what, M4. you know, this is a this, full, this is the Titman M4. And you, custom. you took this to a whole other process with the purple. What color do you call this again? Uh, that doesn't even have a name because it's literally seven colors combined. Seven colors combined that you did all in-house. That's so cool. So cool. See the adjustable stock. Yep. Everything. Now, this barrel looks interesting. That's TACCOM 22 barrel? Yep. That's a okay. four and a half inch barrel, sleeve to 16. So, it's a sleeve barrel. Okay. Yep. Neat. And this is this is a big deal out here in, in Rimfire Challenge Shooting Association, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Titmans are huge. Nice. Yep. Titman Arms is a big sponsor this weekend for um for that. So, that's huge. So, Mike, how can people get in touch with you? So, you know, they, if they want to get one of your reverse photo night lights made. They can either go to the website or check us out on Facebook, Crano Custom on Facebook, or the website is same thing, www.cranocustoms.com. Okay, and that's spelled K-R-A-N-O. Yep, C-U-S-T-O-M-S. See, I, why didn't you put, you didn't, do a, you didn't do a customs with a K there. I know. Do you think about it? I did, a, I did after I started the business. <laughs> yeah. At that this, point, it was this is what I, this is why I do a podcast because I'll ask questions like, "Did you not think about doing a, a Kano and a, and, a, and a custom with a K there?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny the things you think of after everything is all yeah. said and done. After you after you've got that LLC, you're like, "Uh, yeah, we didn't use the right letter." Cranocustoms dot com. Well, Mike. Your daughter's out here shooting this weekend? No, actually, she's got school stuff this weekend. See, and school happens. She was kind of bummed, but yeah. she's uh, took a heck of a load. She's a sophomore in all uh, all AP classes. So. Well, it sounds like you're raising one heck of a young adult. I'm excited that she is involved um, in the shooting sports. Truly blessed. She's a great kid. Well, neat. Well, we've seen you at different matches. We've seen you at Metal Madness a lot. We're oh, going to yeah. do some more stuff with that. The homecoming next year, that's going to be pretty exciting. That's, that's going to be awesome. Those, de those dates have been announced on MMS MMSSA.net. So that's out there if you want to find out more about those shooting sports. But you're involved in a lot going on with Steel Challenge, with Rimfire Challenge Shooting Association, of course, Metal Madness. Anything else I haven't oh, talked yeah. about you're involved in? Um, That's pretty much it. You know, we sponsor a lot of stuff. We, I mean, obviously – we do too, but yes. not, we're not quite to that I, level. It, but we're it takes a, it takes a while. It's awesome. You're gonna do a Mississippi, Mississippi Classic? Classic? Um, actually, we can't make that one. Okay. We're just okay. sponsoring it, but yep. Mississippi Classic. Um, yep. You know, this one we did Indiana, Metal Madness in Kentucky, Metal Madness in Pennsylvania. Yep. Um, try to float around as much as we can. Well, that's awesome. Well, Mike, thank you so much for stopping thank you, by. Sir. We're gonna grab some other vendors, but I see somebody here. I'm fixing to grab. I actually, the president of the Rampire Challenge Shooting Association made a mistake by coming up here and sitting down because I'm not sure if he knew I was live or not. Finna grab Mr. Pete Swanson himself.